Good morning, I'm Dory. And I'm Little Feather. And we're here with the goats and we're getting ready to film a video on how to make armpit fudge. <laughs> Good morning, and today we're gonna be making, like I said, armpit fudge. I've been seeing it around on all the Girl Scout sites and I just thought it'd be a great idea to do an ultimate version of armpit fudge. So we're going to be making a, what I think is the original using cheese slices. Little Feather is going to be making um, a healthier version of armpit fudge. And we're also going to include a recipe for a vegan dairy free. Okay, so we've measured out our ingredients and I'm going to let you know what's in this original version. So I have one slice of processed cheese single, um, two tablespoons of butter, one cup of powdered sugar, one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. And in our healthier version, it's one tablespoon of butter, two tablespoons of cream cheese, a tea, two teaspoons of cocoa powder, and a quarter cup of powdered sugar. I almost forgot my vanilla. Add your ingredients to a quart size bag. Fun fact about processed cheese, it's been around for over a hundred years and Kraft Singles was invented in 1947 by Mr. Kraft. Minor note, probably should have just put this right in the bag. The best part about armpit fudge is that you're going to mix it under your arm. Meanwhile, we've done some digging and armpit fudge, a classic no cook camping recipe, a scouting tradition the world over can be found on many different platforms, scout handbooks, YouTube, Pinterest, girl guides, girl scouts, and of course, cub scouts. You can always squish a moosh with your hands. Eventually. When thoroughly combined, you can add your mix-ins. All right, we're done mushing and squishing it up and we're gonna add our fixin'. So I'm gonna put in some organic coconut because I'm fancy like that. <laughs> and um, I'm putting a little bit of coconut, but peanut butter because it's my favorite. All right, so we've added our mix-ins and normally you could probably eat it right out of the bag, but we're gonna give you our honest opinion of what this stuff tastes like. And remember that you're gonna need to use wipes. <laughs> It's but messy. It's messy. It's so messy. But maybe it's good. All right, now we're ready for our taste test. So the first one we're gonna try is the cheese slice version. It did come out very solid, like fudge. It, yeah, it does have a fudge-like consistency. Actually, it tastes like fudge. It really does. It's so sweet. <laughs> but it's very sweet because oh we God. put a cup of powdered sugar in that. But it does have a fudge consistency and um, the coconut added a nice flavor, which is the healthier one. All right, and so the add-ins were a little bit of coconut and peanut butter, so we'll see how. Her version is a little more creamier, not as stiff as the first one, because this had, remember, this had a cup of powdered sugar, and this one only had in a, a quarter, quarter cup. cup. All right, smells good. Definitely tastes the peanut butter. I actually like this one better, and not because it has less sugar. The cream cheese adds a nice texture. And it I love peanut butter. It would be a fun s'more. It would be. Oh well, I think it was a successful trials and errors. Um, we did rip the bags open. So what do you think? It's good. And the girls will have fun. Remember, it's for them, it's not really for you. And it's yeah. a great first time 
no cook recipe for your daisies, brownies, junior. Actually, I think anybody would really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. My high schools would eat it for sure. All right. All right. Till next time, I'm Dory. And I'm Little Feather. See you later.